Boo wanted to come out of the bedroom and he just kissed Goldie. Be nice. <gasps> Be nice. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It is 9.20 a.m. I just brought the wheel up from downstairs. So Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba never used this wheel. I tried for so long to get them to use it, and they don't like using it. But there are now seven other cats in the house, so the question is, will any of them use it? Unfortunately, I really don't have any space to put this up here, so for now, I'm just gonna put it here in the hallway. Um, it's on the side of the hallway. The runner uh, fits perfectly next to it, so it could be good because it'll help hold the runner in place. Here's Sammy. Hey, Sammy. What you doing? What you doing? So, so we'll see if they use this. Um, I do need to find a little piece of, like, double-sided tape um, because the, uh, the blue... It's like a blue foam insert. Right here it's a bit loose so I need to tape that. But other than that, it still works. And we'll see if any of the other cats decide to use it. It's 9.45 a.m. And I'm about to open the gates. Somebody just dropped a bomb. Like, it smells so bad. I think it was Sammy because I just saw her coming out of one of the litter boxes. Nasty smell. Nasty smell. All right, everyone out. I'll give you a treat. Is anyone gonna check out the? Is anyone gonna check out the wheel? You guys gonna check out the wheel? Can you run on it? You gonna run on the wheel, Sammy? You're gonna smell it. Is she gonna go on it? Maybe she'll go on it and start running right away. Wouldn't that be funny if one of the cats did that? Richard gonna go on it? Gonna go on the wheel? Is anyone gonna go on the wheel? Maybe I should do an experiment. Um, so they've had a TV on in their room overnight and they're watching bird videos. I wonder if anyone has a video of cats running on a wheel. Maybe I would just put a cat running on a wheel video on and see if they learn from it. That would be a really interesting experiment. Like if I don't try to teach them at all, if I just leave the wheel here and let them watch videos of cats running on wheels, maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do that for a few days. Oh, look at this. Is Richard gonna go on it? Richard, you gonna run on it? No. So the only problem with having the wheel here is that when I take the gates out of the door, I normally stack them here just along the wall, but I can't do that because the wheel's here now and it'll just be way too narrow. So I just move the gates um, to another part uh, of kind of the end of the hallway. It is 10.30 a.m. and now I am going to clean up this room. It still smells really, really bad. I hope someone does not have an upset stomach because one thing that I've noticed with the cats is that if someone is having diarrhea or some kind of digestive upset, the poop will smell like so much worse than regular normal poop. So I'm hoping that is not the case here. Right, Nancy? Um, look what they did. They got the cover off this toy again. So this is the cat's meow toy, and then this is the cover that goes on it, and there's normally a piece of plastic that holds that down, and they got it off. I don't know how they get it off, and I don't know where it is. Look at, look at this, it was little Eva. Little Eva was sitting on the day sofa watching me clean out the room. Hey Richard, we're gonna eat soon, okay? So, I wanna talk about why this room is stinky because when I was cleaning up the room, I found out why it was so stinky. 
So it did not look like anyone had diarrhea or anything like that. But what I did notice is that the air purifier, which is right here, this is the air purifier, that white unit, I've had it hooked up to this portable power station and for some reason it was off. So it's off right now. I think it just goes to show you how well this little air purifier works because I definitely noticed a difference with the litter box smells in this room with this purifier being off versus on. And it's been pretty much running nonstop for weeks now. I have it running on um, level two. So there's like level one, level two and level three. Level three is the noisiest. Um, so I keep it on level two. And uh, yeah, it's been working really good on level two. I probably should look into getting a replacement filter soon, but for now it's just doing a really good job and I'm gonna turn it back on. Look at little Eva. I don't know what she's doing today. She wants to sit on that pillow while I'm cleaning out the room. I piled all the toys onto the day sofa and I did find the piece for uh, that other toy. Hey Eva. Oh, you know why probably? because I have all the sides up. What I did was I took a broom and I got all the toys out from under the day sofa or the vast majority of them. And I put them in this little basket just to try to organize them because they were just all along the back wall underneath the day sofa. And what is going on here? What was going on here, guys? It was like all three of them. So Ringo's favorite toys are pom-poms. And he makes noises like Simba used to make. But he also makes these crying noises. Oh, but that's Ziggy. Hey, Ziggy, you crying? I just gave the cats two platters of food. We're trying something different today. So um, everyone's getting some of the homemade raw food mixed into some of the canned food. Stella, Splash, Boo, and Simba got that for breakfast, and these cats are getting the same thing for breakfast. And I just want to see how they like it. Um, I also gave them some crunchies in the middle of the platter. So it's the same amount of food that they have been getting. It's just served a little bit differently. And we'll see if they eat it all. And I gotta go see if the other cats ate their breakfast. So this is Splash's. He ate all of it. This is Simba's. He ate most of it. It looks like he left the canned food. And that's Boo's. Same thing. And that's Stella's. So for some reason they've been really finicky with the canned food over the past few days. And I have cases of it. And I don't know why they stopped really enjoying it. That's why I decided to mix it in with some of the homemade raw food, which I know they like. And... Yeah, it was more successful as far as getting them to eat the canned food. So I'm going to give the same thing to them for uh, dinner. They're going to get the canned food mixed in with the raw food. And then maybe, I think maybe next week what I'll do is I'll make a big batch of homemade food. Here's Stella and Simba relaxing in their beds. It's 11.45 a.m. I just heard a cat fight. I immediately thought it was the kittens, but I went to their door and they were like freaked out and Boo was freaked out. So I said, what is going on? So then I came in here and Simba's up there, Splash is in the penthouse and see this here, this blanket belongs up there. So I guess Simba was trying to go into the penthouse and Splash was in there and Splash is like, oh no, I don't want to share this with you. So some kind of fight ensued and I'm gonna put that blanket back although it does need to be washed, it's full of cat hair. You okay, Simba? Simba's having a very bad day. Everyone is picking on Simba today. So when I gave them breakfast, first uh, Simba and Boo had a little fight, but I have to say that was Simba's fault because Simba punched Boo first. Simba started that fight. And then as I was putting their food together, Simba was in a fight with Stella. I don't know who started that fight. So I don't know if Simba is just in an ornery mood today where he wants to start fights with everyone or everyone's just picking on him or if it's a little bit of both. You okay, Simba? You okay? You're a good boy, Simba, okay? Just stay out of fights, okay? Stay out of fights. It is 3 p.m. and I'm putting together a video uh, to train the cats to use this wheel. So what I had to do was I had to find videos on YouTube of cats running on this wheel. And all the videos on YouTube are, I don't know, they leave a lot to be desired as far as turning them into a training video. So... I got 
the footage, like the best footage I could get and I extended it so it's like a four hour video. I just looped it a lot. And then I didn't want to use the music because they all had music. So what I did was I recorded some natural sounds of this wheel turning. And as I was doing that, all the kittens in the room woke up and they wanted to know what was going on. And then Sammy decided she wants to come out and interact with the wheel. So I have this toy here and I actually put Sammy on the wheel, but I was like holding her to try to like, you know, teach her what to do. And she's not afraid of the wheel. Like all the other cats are afraid of the wheel and now it's not moving, I don't know why. Um, so at least she's not afraid of it. She's kind of curious about it. Maybe she might actually be the first one to use it. Sammy, look. Yeah. Come over here. Sammy. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on. Here. Here. Come here, Sammy. Here. Walk, 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 walk on the wheel, walk on it, walk on it, walk on it, walk on it, walk on it. Sammy, you're so close. You're so close, Sammy. Here, come here. So Goldie just came out of the room because she wants to be with Sammy. She just wants to follow Sammy around and she wants to meow at Sammy and do whatever Sammy's doing. And it's raining out today. It's a cold and rainy day. So Boo wanted to come out of the bedroom and he just kissed Goldie. Be nice. <gasps> be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. So first Boo kissed Goldie. Goldie just tried to headbutt Boo. She wanted to be nice and then he was nasty. Boo, be nice. Be nice, Boo. She wanted to be nice to you. She was giving you a headbutt. She wanted to be nice to you, Boo. She likes you. She likes you. Be nice to the girls when they like you, Boo. She likes you. Okay, come on. Who wants a churu? Goldie, want a churu? Here go, Goldie. Move over, Sammy, please. You had some. Let Goldie have some. Let Goldie have some. Goldie, you don't like it? You liked it yesterday. Okay, so Goldie is purring very loudly. And she's been talking a lot, too. I don't know what she's trying to say, but she's been talking a lot. I want to give Goldie the churu, not Sammy. Come on, Goldie. Come back. All right, someone's trying to get out of a door. I don't know who that is. I put Boo back in the room. So I just tried a new technique with Goldie, and that is by touching her when she was eating a churu. But I have to do it with the same hand that feeds her the churu. So I was touching her, her legs. So I was, 
I was touching her legs and her feet while she was eating. See, like this, like if I feed her like this, I don't know if you could see, I don't know if it's, if it's focusing, but that seemed to be working. Like I'm gonna illustrate it here with Sammy. So as I'm feeding her, I'm, I'm touching her with the same hand. And that's what I was doing with Goldie to try to get her used to being touched. Maybe if I have some one-on-one -on -one time with Goldie without Sammy here. I put Sammy back in the room so it's just me and Goldie. I got a little bit of the churu left. Is she going to eat it? Good job. Good job. Good job, Goldie. Here you go. So Sammy just came back out of the room and Goldie is so in love with her. It's so funny. She just follows her everywhere. She wants Sammy to groom her. She's saying, Sammy, lick my head, lick my head. She's so much like Splash. I told her that if she wants to be like Sammy, she has to let me pet her and pick her up. But I feel like I made good progress with her today because I was able to touch her while she was eating the squeeze up. The problem with not being able to pick a cat up is you really don't have control over them the same way. So like with Sammy, I could pick her up and put her in whatever room I want, but I can't do that with Goldie and that's an issue. So to get her back into the kitten room, for example, I have to kind of scare her into going back in there, which I'm not gonna do right now, but if I needed to, like if there was a situation where I absolutely had to get her back in the room, I'd have to scare her back in. Whereas with Sammy, I could just pick her up and put her in. It's 2.15 p.m. Sammy's crying because she wants to come out of the room, but she's not coming out because I have to vacuum. Meanwhile, look at what's going on here on the day sofa. That's Ringo and Richard. Richard was just grooming Ringo.
for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.